This video explains what is a sovereign wealth fund, which are the global top 50 sovereign wealth funds and do Russia and India have SWFs or not. Before we explain what is a sovereign wealth fund, we must say that there are different definitions of sovereign wealth funds or SWF. For example, International Monetary Fund IMF has its own definition of SWF. The US Treasury has its own definition of SWF. But for our purposes, we can say that it is huge pool of foreign exchange investment assets which are controlled by a sovereign entity. And these investment assets are neither the country's foreign exchange reserves nor its pension assets. The other features of SWF include that it is a mechanism through which countries make investment and it is a large pool of money which is often derived from commodities profits made by the country and they tend to invest for longer term and hence they are more risk tolerant compared to their preference to the liquidity and they exclude the assets which are managed for the benefit of individuals. Now let's talk about limitations of sovereign wealth funds. The limitation mainly pertains to the transparency of the SWFs. For example, a sovereign wealth fund may disclose their investment holdings regularly, but the other soft, uh, sovereign wealth funds may not be disclosing their investment details at all. There are some other terms which are often confused with sovereign wealth fund. First is the sovereign bonds. This is totally different from SWF. Sovereign bonds are the bonds issued by the sovereign entity, for example, government of a country. And they, here in the sovereign bonds, investors earn a fixed interest rate, for, uh, which is generally called as the coupon rate of the bond. Sovereign wealth enterprises, SWEs, are the organizations or the uh, business entities which are controlled by the sovereign wealth fund. Therefore, they are also, SWEs are also different from SWFs. Now let's take a look at the top 10 sovereign wealth funds of the world. On the top, we have Norway Government Pension Fund Global, and this has about $1.1 trillion worth of assets. It is followed by China Investment Corporation with about $940.6 billion of assets. This is followed by the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority at number three, then Kuwait Investment Authority, followed by Hong Kong Monetary Authority Investment Portfolio, followed by GIC Private Limited, then Safe Investment Company, Timasek Holding, Public Investment Fund, then it is at the 10th number we have National Council for Social Security Fund. If we look at the countries of origin of these, uh, uh, these SWFs, we have the first or the topmost uh, sovereign wealth fund owned by Norway, then China, then UAE Abu Dhabi, then Kuwait, Hong Kong, Singapore, China, Singapore, Saudi Arabia and China. So if you see, although at the top we have Norway's SWF with $1.1 trillion worth of asset, but in the top 10, we have three S, uh, uh, SWFs from China, that is CIC, SAFE and NCSSF. And together, these three have the assets worth $1.6 trillion, and which is more than the top SWF of Norway. Now, if we have a look at the remaining uh, SWFs within the top 50 category, we see that there are sovereign wealth funds from different countries such as Egypt. We also have one from Chile. We also have others from, let's say, Austria. And we also have on number 14, Turkey's wealth fund. Now let's talk about India. Does India have an SWF or not? In 2015, government of India created a fund called as NIIF or National Investment and Infrastructure Fund. This fund was created with initial seed of US dollar 3 billion and additional money was provided by the anchor investors which are Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, Australian Super, Canada's Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, Canada's Pension Plan Investment Board CPPIB and Singapore's TMASEC. SWFs generally invest across the borders wherever they get uh, suitable investment opportunities. But India's NIIF is focused only on investment in India. This is somewhat similar to Russia's sovereign wealth fund, RDIF, Russian Direct Investment Fund, which invests exclusively in Russia. Uh, talking about NIIF, this uh, NIIF is an associate member 
of the IFSWF, which is the International Forum of Sovereign Wealth Funds. So by associate member, we mean that there are still some uh, points or principles or practices which are not yet followed by NIIF. Um, the full members of IFSWF follow all the 24 generally accepted principles and practices and these generally accepted principles and practices are popularly known as Santiago principles. Uh, just to note that IFSWF was created after discussions with global groups such as G20, IMF and the US Department of Treasury and following a Kuwait declaration in 2009. Now let's uh, answer the question, does Russia have any SWF or not? Answer is yes, Russia has two sovereign wealth funds. First is RDIF, which is Russian Direct Investment Fund. And as I just mentioned, this is a fund uh, which is owned by Russia, but it invests exclusively in Russia only. The other SWF that we have from Russia is called as Russian National Wealth Fund or Russian NWF.